what is good everybody welcome back to the channel <clears throat> today is a quick channel update because over the past week i've had some technical difficulties with my playstation 2 system so there will be some games that ain't gonna be played anymore due to that so uh but yeah man let's get into it all right man so um I don't know maybe last week the beginning of the last week i had problems with um the games loading up you know so um i was thinking it maybe was the game or the lens is dirty but the lens actually went out kaput doesn't work junk scrap whatever you want to call it so that went out so as far as the update goes uh the ncaa 07 dynasty which is the kent state um i will not be able to continue that um due to the fact that it's a cd and the lens is gone um the reason why i have this screen up is because i want to show y'all how i will be playing the games now the Kent State Dynasty can continue, but I would have to uh, rip the game or I'll rip the ISO from my actual disc. You know, so uh, that's a whole nother video in itself. But uh, if you got free McBoot and a PlayStation 2 hard drive, which all of this right here, this is your free McBoot. This is installed in your uh, PlayStation 2 memory card and it pretty much gives you custom firmware to go into all these different programs and play games or play emulators and you know stuff like that this is the program you use say for instance i get asked a lot uh well how do you put the rosters onto the games yeah 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 this is where you go you download the file from the internet whatever roster file you want you load up the loot the you launch elf and you go in there and you take the file from your like usb core uh card and then you can transfer it into your playstation 2 memory card that's the program you use for that this program here it lets you uh play either ps1 games or playstation 2 games this right here launches the disc if you got a disc install and this right here this is the program that i will be showing y'all because this accesses my hard drive for my playstation 2 and i will show you a couple of games that i have on there already so here we go we gonna hit the x button and let it do its thing this is what the uh home screen looks like uh, once you uh start the uh program pretty good program now this is the main screen right here so if you got usb games what i what it means by that is if you got a usb thumb drive and you slot it into the slot on your fat playstation 2 or slim because they both have usb ports it reads your games from the usb port now that way i've done it that way before but it takes way too long um and you hit the r button and this is the hard drive games now some of this stuff was installed on this hard drive when i bought it i don't know three four five years ago um but i installed the uh college football now i can install any college football i have in my collection which will be all of them so forth with the maddens and the basketballs but you know like i said that's a whole different video for a whole different time so um the reason why i'm gonna have to do it this way like i said is because the lens went out and plus when you load a game from your hard drive i mean the load times are like milliseconds i mean it loads them super duper fast so uh that helps out especially with the lagging because we all know the playstation 2 when you get a couple of bodies especially on football it lags a little bit and slows down but when you play it from the hard drive it really doesn't you will not notice it it plays just like the regular xbox so you go down here and you hit x which means run down 
buttons flash different colors that mean your game will be loaded here is the game EA Sports it's in the game so uh wow that is real loud but um this is how I'm gonna do it man um it just loaded my roster so uh this is what we'll probably be doing from now on I have to put uh, Madden on there which I got downloaded and um, I mean if 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 you got the original copy you can go to the internet and download it from various ROM sites or if you got the program and you're a little computer savvy you can rip the game from the actual game itself by putting the game into your disk drive on your laptop or desktop so um yeah man as far as this goes uh let me show y'all this real quick because i don't have all the uh bowl game uh stadiums so my sec replays i might have to put those on hold until i can unlock some of these stadiums right here it's a grand total of 33 and it costs 25 credits per pennant so if y'all ever wondering how to get all the stadiums in the old um ncaa games this is how you do it um other than that the only thing that i have to my disposal right now as we speak is um let me show you real quick go through all these stadiums the only thing I can play on as far as my SCC replays goes is the ACC, the MAC, and the SCC. Um, the ACC championship game, I might start showing y'all uh, those replays uh, every blue moon once again. I'm an SCC guy. My team just won the SCC championship. I think I was 21 the last time we won. <laughs> 12 years ago. But anyway, um, so... Uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell um so uh i don't know man as far as the the features with this game as far as what you can do you got the highlight stick on offense which is a much needed thing um ncaa 2007 don't have that just yet um you got defensive adjustments. What I mean by that is you can hot route zone coverage just to the first down marker. It's just so many more features in this game that NCAA 2007 doesn't have, which I ain't knocking them. But um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to um starting something with this particular game, and uh, we'll see how it uh, flourish in the near future but uh man that's gonna wrap this one up y'all stay tuned and uh i'll see y'all later peace